show you how to make a prison burrito. Yeah, you heard right, <laughs> prison burrito. And you are probably wondering why she wearing a hat at home. I was just trying to get into the mood of this Korean K-pop kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, why? Okay, well, because I was watching um, a video by China Mac, and he was showing us how to make a prison burrito, but he had a guest in that program, and that happens to be Jackson Lang, and one of my favorite rapper, Korean rapper, K-pop artist, and so um, that's why I'm just like this a little bit. Um, but, however, what's really interesting about that program was the fact that these prisoners can make different food, so creative, um, from junk food. <laughs> yeah. So basically, these guys are in jail for a long time, and they have disgusting food in the jail, and that's a no surprise. And the only thing that probably tastes good is junk food, right? And, but a bag of chips is not gonna fill a grown man <laughs> for dinner, right? So they come up with creative ideas and, and whatever things they have and they collect, um, and they will make it into something more substantial that they feel full after eating. So one thing was the prison burrito, okay? Uh, that's made out of chips, burritos, but not the size. Actually, they're very tiny bag of chips. That's like, you know, the 25 cents chips that we used to buy. I don't know if they're 25 cents anymore, probably 50 cents, right? So, the other thing was um, a package of instant noodles of mini bread. Okay. And, of course, slim gins. <laughs> and then also a slice of cheese. And, of course, you will also need um, hot water. Okay, so those are the ingredients to make this um, burrito. So I found it very interesting because after they made it, Jackson Wang had tasted it. And Jackson was like, oh my god, this tastes so good. And he was just eating and eating it until Mac had to take it away from him. So I, I want to try this for myself. He made it look so good and tasty. I'm sure it's tasty, but probably even tastier for Jackson since he doesn't um, have junk food or better yet, not even carbs, only once a week. So most of the time it's shakes, so I can see why he might think that's very tasty. But anyway, um, I'm gonna get started, and I hope you enjoy the program. Let's go. So I made it pretty much the size of what that little pack of chips will be like, that much chip, right? So first thing you need to do is, see that? I'm gonna mash up the chips until they're mashed. Okay, I'm still matching it. Let's take this package of instant noodle and smash it up like that, you see? And throw it around, like have it match. So keep doing that, so it's pretty much like this. You're gonna wanna open it, take out that instant package of uh, soup mix, and you're going to use only about half of the noodle. Okay, so you're going to dump that noodle into the package of chips that you had already crushed. And then that little package of instant um, soup, just pour a little bit, not the whole thing, just a little bit, uh, just for taste, uh, into the package also. The uh, soup mix into the chips. The next thing you want to do is Slim Jim's. Okay, this is a small one. The one I saw them using was a little longer than this, so I took two of them. And what you have to do is take the Slim Jim, and you know what they do in prison, because if they don't have any utensils, they'll bite the, the little pieces and put it into that bag of chips. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to unwrap this and cut it up and put it into the bag. And um, if you're like uh, Mac, he doesn't like the skin that's on the uh, jerky, uh, you can take that off as well. Or if you like it, you can just leave it. The next thing you need to do is take the American cheese, or whatever slices of cheese that you have, cheddar, American, and you will break it into little pieces and put that into the bag as well. And once you do that, you will shake it up. And everything that I just showed you is all mixed in here. So I'm gonna shake it up. Water. You're not going to use a whole cup. Um, 
You're gonna use uh, just enough, like, you, know, you don't want this all soaking wet in there, but just enough to like, you think, um, like for this much, probably, maybe, you can, you can guess, because you don't want to soak it, and then you don't want it too dry either. So use your judgment on how much, but it's not gonna be a, a whole lot, so you don't want to overdo it. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and add my water. Roll it up, roll, roll the bag of chips into something like this. So it looks like a burrito almost, the shape of a burrito. And let it sit there for, for a while, probably like maybe a good five, 10 minutes. And we'll go from there. Let's see how it looks after the five, 10 minutes. It's about 10 minutes and um, I think it might be ready. And this is how I had uh, wrapped it up, sitting here like this. Okay, because uh, you know, we kind of like put everything together after the hot water and just roll it up like this. So now I'm going to start opening this up. Let's see how it looks like. If it looks like a burrito and if it tastes like one. Oh, look at that. That's the prison burrito. Okay, guys. What do you think? Mm. Burrito. Doesn't it look like a real burrito? <laughs> so I'm going to go for a taste test right now. Mmm, smells so good. Very cheesy and burrito like. Mmm. Jackson is right. Mm. With the piece of Slim Jim. Mmm. So good. He's right. I guess he is right. Even me, I, I, I eat junk food and carbs throughout the week, but this really tastes good. So imagine that. So I think you guys should try it. But um, definitely I'm gonna finish that because that really tastes good. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this program. And if you do, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, and definitely comment. And if you have pictures of what you um, created, please post it on my channel. Thank you.